fathoming the unseen or all the unseen. How do we fathom everything that is unseen? Well, <coughs> it's really, I shouldn't say that, it's just like, how could we do such a thing? How could we do something like, start trying to fathom in all the unseen things? Like, why would we do such a thing? Well, basically, it's everything that, it's pretty much everything that's hard to take in, basically. So, all the things, I guess, if you're not like a believer, if you're like a religious fanatic, basically it's everything that it's hard for you It's all the hard things for you to take in. And so I believe, too many things that are, especially if you have a deep walk with the Lord, that like, the things you try to explain to people that you've taken in from the unseen realm, spiritual aspects, I should say, that too many religious fanatics, I don't want to call them religious freaks, you know, get into my flesh, but um, religious fanatics. Or maybe even unbelievers, I don't know that. But it's especially for religious fanatics, I should say. That they want to immediately push to the side. If it's not quick, if it doesn't come to them quick, they immediately push to the side. They don't want to take the time with the Lord to actually let it consume. Not only let it consume, but let it dissolve. Consume the consumption and the and the, and the dissolving in their spirit. That's the thing. So it's both of those, the consumption and the dissolving in the spirit. Taking it all in for what it is. Having the spirit of discernment, but also praying about these things. Um, you want to develop the deeper walk with Yahweh. How do we do it? Well, this is part of it. The consumption and the dissolving. Consuming it all in, but like God, this this is also part of new revelation. God will give you new revelation through this. So you're not easily to jump into your carnal man. You're able to actually take everything that God would give you or give that person. The Holy Spirit speak from that person and to give to you. It's a process. It's a part of the process. But it's a part of the of the renewing of your mind. The renewing from the carnal man to renewing to be more in tune with Christ, or should say Christ-like. The consumption, I'm gonna keep repeating this over and over, the consumption dissolving. But it's like you consume it in from the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, from said person. From said person to your spirit. But then again, if you don't have the Spirit of God, that's the carnal man. So it's like, you consume it, let it dissolve, take it all in for what it is, pray, have discernment. Is it in the Word? Does it line up with the Word? 
you know, these are the things we have to take in consideration. And also, the thing is, though, we know that there are seers, there's empaths, there's, you know, there's prophets, seers, empaths, prophets, all that stuff. try to fathom everything it is about God. It's just like, okay, I'll say this for instance, okay? Someone will say you're a false prophet. Okay, why? Because you had a revelation. You saw something that God showed you. He might not have showed that person. So I'll say, well, it didn't line up with the Word or it wasn't, or, or it wasn't in the Word, so you're a false prophet or something. And it's just like, man, pray about it. There's a reason God will give people revelation. It's just like, okay, uh, the days of like, you know, Noah when he was building the ark, he wasn't, this is why it's important to hear the voice of God, so, this is what it's about, relationship. It's just like, someone tells you to go build an ark, and they're going to say, that went from God, you're crazy, where's that in the Bible? You know? So, this is the consuming, and let it dissolve in your spirit. Take it in for what it is, especially if someone else, like another sister or person in Christ, is telling you this, prophesying to you. This happens for a reason, and it's happened to me before. Sometimes I did pray about it, sometimes I didn't. The dissolving, or the consumption, the dissolving in your spirit. Taking it in for what it is. If it does line up with the Word of God, or it's something that God showed you today, I know it's like, people do have different purposes and view. If, if nothing registers, you know that, you know, obviously we can go back to the parable of talents and something like that, if it's like something, maybe this person could be a prophet or something. Because prophets, will start saying things that will literally freak people out, even believers, to the point, even like, you know, some people have watched that they'll they'll turn that person off, they don't listen to them because they think they're false, but they're not. They're just having new revelation, you know, seeing something from the Lord, you know, taking it into what it is, the consumption, the dissolving in your spirit, you know? God's going to break yokes, God's going to break spirits, God's going to do whatever God wants to do and no one's going to stop him because we can't tell God what he wants to do or needs to do or what he should do. Amen. Too many times we get it wrong. Too many times, way too many times. No, I don't go to church. I don't believe you have to be a Christian to go to church. I can give you an instance, you know. Someone who lives out in the middle of Africa and everything, or someone who was born like miles and miles away from a church, like it's just a building. Like I don't want to be going and idolizing a building. So you can still have fellowship and relationship with God without the church. It's just the the gathering. They had church on the on a, what was that mountain? Like when people, when Jesus like um, forget it was. It was like when God was doing His teaching was a certain mountain. I forget what it was, but it was a certain mountain, and He was doing teaching and teaching on that mountain. You don't need a church building to go to a church. But anyway, besides the, you know, going back to what I was saying, the consumption and the dissolving. <clears throat> I, uh, take it in for what it is. But also, you know, let it remove yourself as well. I think I might call it, actually I might call this video the consumption and the dissolving, I believe I call it. 
but take your hand forward and then as you know, go back to the scriptures, go back to that stuff and just let it be and let God do what he needs to. But anyway, going back to what I was saying that don't uh, taking him for what it is, you know. Uh, not just brushing it to the side, but actually taking it in prayer, you better than that God show you. So, like if you're a religious fanatic or if, like you're unbeliever or something. Taking it for what it is and let it consume it and dissolve it in your and let it dissolve in your spirit for what it is. God will show you the truth no matter what. His, his word will not return void unto you. I'm just gonna leave it at that. God bless. Have a great day. If you need prayers, post it in the comments. God bless.